So this uh, demonstration video is going to be uh, me making an attempt at making a cast with SmoothCast 325. And this is the uh, mold that I made to make a replica of this original chess piece right here. So I'm gonna open up uh, these uh, part A and part B and the way you mix these up is um, equal parts by volume A and B, mix them together. This here is a lot uh, faster of a uh, curing time than the previous ones that I've done. So you can see here that the pot life is two and a half minutes and cure time is 10 minutes. So we gotta be kind of quick with this one. So I'm gonna open these up, get them mixed, and um, I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I just opened e up each one of these, uh, part B and part A right here, and I stirred each one individually. Um, these are a really uh, thin, watery liquid, so you wanna be careful that you uh, don't spill this anywhere and make sure that you clean everything up afterwards. Um, and like I uh, had just mentioned, this uh, kind of moves along quickly, so I'm gonna measure these out, mix them real quick, and pour it right away. So I have my cups here marked out with a little sharpie mark right here above my finger on each one so i'm gonna measure out part b in this one and part a over on this side turn it so i can see my mark Okay, and I have them about equal parts. So now, here's where you gotta be kinda quick with these. Once you put these together, they start uh, solidifying and curing almost immediately. So I'm gonna pour them together, mix them up real quick, and pour them right into my mold here. And we got two and a half minutes of pot life. So I'm gonna mix it for about one minute. Honestly, this is so watery and thin that you probably don't even mix, need to mix it a full minute. I think I'm probably sufficiently mixed now. So I am going to pour that right into this mold. You can see I mixed probably just a little bit more than I needed to. So now um, this has a uh, cure time of 10 minutes. So I'm gonna give it about 15 and then I'm gonna open this up and see what we got. I'm currently about five minutes into the uh, cure time right now, but I just wanted to stop and take a minute just to uh, point out, I left uh, some excess material in this cup right here. And I've just been monitoring it to see how hard it is. And it's actually pretty rigid already at five minutes. And it's also actually very hot. Not so hot that I can't touch it, but it's not far off. Um, I don't have a thermometer here to uh, see what the temperature actually is, but it's actually pretty impressive, the uh, chemical reaction that's happening there and uh, how hot this is uh, or how much heat this is generating while it is uh, curing. All right, so I left this cure for a, more, a little more than 15 minutes, and uh, I checked this uh, little excess that I poured right here, and it is solid, still a little bit warm, um, but it's solid and smooth and looks good to go. So I'm gonna open this mold up and see what we got here. So you can see I got just a little bit of flashing right here, but I should be able to remove that pretty easily. And down here I have um, the sprue or pour hole where I am gonna need to uh, remove that obviously. So I'm gonna cut that off and just sand that smooth. You can see that this turned out pretty well. Um, the only downside I see to what I have here is I have a bunch of tiny little bubbles on here, 
but um, otherwise I think this actually turned out really well. It captured all the detail. Um, so this is Smoothcast 325 and I think um, if you are using a rubber mold and you need a rigid solid plastic piece, this is a really good choice.